never seen a gas station with like three different uh, or four different pumps. What the hell? I don't get it because you have these two, which I guess would be for E85 and diesel, and this is for unleaded 88. I don't know what unleaded 88 is. I know what regular uh, uh, unleaded plus and uh, premium is, it, but what's 88? Don't ask me. This is weird. First time I've ever been to this gas station. Hey, what's up, guys? This is my response to the Mighty Car Mods blog post, where they're basically saying a YouTuber told them that they're failing at YouTube because they recently put out a two-part, hour-and-a-half long feature film. And this YouTuber was saying, why upload those two videos that were an hour-and-a-half long each instead of uploading them in teeny little bitty chunks because for one if you do teeny bitty little chunk videos you're gonna make more money and you're gonna have more content instead of uploading two videos that are an hour and a half each you can have like 30 videos that would give you more revenue and more income in the end and like they both explained they're not youtubers they're not influencers they make videos because they want to make videos. They're not clickbaiting titles. They're not making weird ass videos for people to be like, Honda Civic Type R with 7,000 horsepower. You better watch this video. Or I got mugged at the gas station. A guy robbed me and you have a thumbnail of somebody who's supposedly robbing you and that never happens. So for myself, I like what Mighty Car Mods is doing. They make high quality content without clickbaiting titles. It'll say like, we're going to be getting new rims for the JDM Mini or my new Mini Cooper with a Honda Civic engine. And they go out and they actually show you putting a Honda Civic engine into a Mini Cooper. And they don't clickbait the title and say like, my Mini Cooper has 12,000 horsepower. Better watch it or you're going to be a loser. They don't say that and they don't never clickbait title. So what would you have rather seen? Those two movies that they released in 4K in Japan that were an hour and a half long each or watch 30 videos of the same movie but chopped up into little like 10 minute chunks. I would have probably end up missing a lot of episodes because YouTube doesn't send out notifications. But this YouTuber is saying basically, we know you only got a total of let's say 800,000 video views between both of those two Japanese movies you made that were an hour and a half long each. Why didn't you? And Mighty Car Mods explains, even if they would have uploaded all these videos in the chunks and they would have got let's say more views overall than what they got in the two videos they would have not have been able to the revenue from the ads wouldn't have been enough to pay for the damn uh movie anyway because they said it actually took them like 36 hours to upload because of the content was so high quality Damn, and I, I, I respect what Mighty Karma do. They put out some of the most baddest videos on the planet. They're one of the biggest automotive car uh, channels on YouTube. I like I like uh, Mighty Car Mods. I love Dude in Blue. I love Chase on Two Wheels. I love my buddy uh, Megan and Dan. Y'all put out some of the baddest car videos and mo automotive content out there. And I definitely say Mighty Karma's never clickbait their titles. And I gladly love that people put in great content. That the thumbnail is what you're really going to watch. Why would you go and say, I just got robbed at the gas station. You better watch it. And then there's no you getting robbed at the gas station. I better watch it. You're only doing that because you could clickbait the title. And you think, wow, was that wooden middle road? whoa but uh honestly i definitely love the fact that they don't clickbait their titles i'm glad that all the channels that i named don't clickbait their titles that dude in blue mighty karma make it at dan uh the list goes on and on chase on two wheels these dudes put out great content and i'm going to continuously watch their content why because the motherfuckers put out good content and i would rather see 
the whole hour and a half long video in one video than see it in multiple 10 minute clips the reason is you would get so hyped up watching that 10 minute clip and go ah oh, really you're gonna make me have to watch like 50 videos or 20 videos or something you know they could have done like a couple 30 minute videos but they didn't they did what they did because it was a feature length film instead of uploading it in one like three and a half hour long video which a lot of people might not want to watch that long but an hour and a half people would sit back and watch it as a movie that was this uh, a genius idea i respect them for putting out the highest quality they did that that little movie documentary type of thing it was it was sick it was awesome it was great and we are driving to twisty roads here in jacksonville florida the twisty road these are like the twistiest roads we get so all you motorcycle out there motorcycles out there motorcycle riders out there you would definitely love this road i mean it's the closest thing we got to the twisties <laughs> it ain't that twisty but uh it is what it is like i said i just i respect what they put out there and because they even say they're not youtubers they're not influencers and mighty car mods do say in their blog post that i'll link in the description box that uh they say, what's more cringier to saying, I'm an influencer, I influence people. You ain't no influencer. You ain't no mo self-taught motivator. You're not somebody who's motivating people. I'm a, I'm a motivational inspirationalist. You're not an inspiration. Just because you got like 100,000 video uh, subscribers on your YouTube channel doesn't make you some influencer or make you some uh inspirational person just because you're getting video views is you're fucking lucky not everybody has the ability to even reach a hundred views so we are about to pull up to the gas station where it's a dollar 93 son but marty car mods at the end of the day just keep doing what you guys are doing you wouldn't be where you're at if you weren't uh getting the attention that you are because uh the attention you're getting is all because you're making the videos that you're making the badass content that is really sick really fun really exciting to watch so it's always good to uh save some money on gas a dollar 93 what i was gonna go to another gas station until i uh passed this one a dollar 93 but i was totally totally confused oh that's kind of odd. I thought I could leave out of the driveway that way. that way. I guess there's two. I guess there's one entrance and one exit, and they're from opposite sides of the uh, gas station. But uh, I was totally confused coming to this gas station because, like, there's E85, right? Which I know is ethanol free gas. Then there was um, the other gas that was uh, E88, and I never even seen e88 before so that was totally confusing to me totally like i didn't know like what to get with the uh the gas or anything like that so that was totally confusing but like i said guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me giving my opinions on uh what i think mighty car mod should be doing and i'm not even saying it's my opinion on what they should be doing they're doing what uh, they're doing because what they're doing is winning and they're winning at YouTube. They're doing the content they want to do. They're producing the content they want to produce and they're doing all the right things. So it's always, my name is Trevor and thanks for stopping by and enjoying the ride.